Individualizing education is a much more effective way of learning. We need to have as many types of education approaches as we do individuals. We use three things, our teaching philosophy, the technologies here that allows teachers to be the facilitators of learning, and then of course we use data incredibly well and we start early. We listen and we look and we can determine what a student needs and we adjust, we make the adjustments. We are not stuck. Our teachers realize that today's student is different. The students of today have information at their fingertips. No more are, are the days where we just have lectures. They have to have a variety of different strategies so they hit all the different learning styles for students. The more direct contact a teacher is able to have with the student, the better. I think we recognize that here at Fairmont and I think that allows our teachers to enrich everything they do because they have smaller class sizes. The fact that we're able to start advancement at such an early age is huge. Probably one of the most unique things about Fairmont, that yes, it is a perfect place for a student who has great potential for advancement, but it is a perfect place for someone who needs support in any area. That has to make parents feel good, to know that my student is not just another person on campus, but the counselor knows them, the teachers know them, the administrators know them. When they are in junior high, counselors are sitting down with students, they're talking about their interests, they're finding out about them, they're making the connection. They'll draw up the four-year plans for them, and then when they get here, they already know their academic counselor. So we're constantly looking at new programs so that we can give the students what they need. The curve of learning increases exponentially that way. And that's why individualizing instruction is so powerful and so impactful.